What's up, Gaster Nation? Today we're on a mission to uh, find some race car parts. I got a call from my buddy Johnny Reb, and he uh, was up in Bowling Green at the Tri-5 Nationals. Gave me a call, and he had found a fiberglass front cap for the 57, a lightweight one, in fact. He gave me a call, looked at it, sent me some pictures and stuff like that, and, uh, and he was nice enough to pick that thing up for me, which he lives in Alabama, and we're in Mississippi, and, of course, the uh, front cap was in Bowling Green, so... Uh, he was cool enough to pick that thing up for me and haul it all the way back home to Alabama. And now since he's headed down here to Mississippi, he's bringing that front cap with him for me. So we're headed right now to meet him over uh, over around Hattiesburg, Mississippi at uh, Tony's house, uh, which has Raunchy the Ranchero. I'm going to go meet them there, and I'm going to reimburse them and pick up this front cap. So I'm pretty stoked about that. That's another big piece off the list. I've got my brother Jeff here with me. What's up? So... <laughs> So, yeah, we're just cruising and uh, riding these back roads and going to go get some race car parts. Pretty exciting. What's that? That car right there. Behind that golf cart? That's Johnny Rib. Oh, that's Johnny Rib? Yeah. And his, his car is named Johnny Rib, and his name is Johnny Rib as well. Like his actual name is Johnny Rib? Well, his first name is Johnny. They call him Johnny Rib. I was about to ask, is his last name Reb? <laughs> they refer, he's referred to as Johnny Reb. He's the Johnny Reb. Yeah, the actual one. He's the one. Uh, I don't know if this is the right place, or we may have to. Uh... Oh. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Voicemail. Every time. Yeah. What the hell is that? Is that a freezer where he keeps his meat? Here we go. Hey, buddy, how's it going? pretty good hey i i just pulled up i'm down here by your car and everything i didn't know where y'all were at so <laughs> oh okay all right bud all right yeah that's, that's one of the next things i got all my front suspension done and i'm not doing a straight axle right now but um doing the, doing the stock a on you gonna tilt it, right? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be yeah. tilted, so. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's a big step. I, I wasn't really, I, I kind of about decided just to get yeah, started all right. out. Started out as more of a street car, and now it's well, that's what now that, that started out. You know, we was gonna drive it around and then maybe, you know, go play with it at a racetrack every once in a while or something. And it, it wound up. Yeah. I got an old 57 Ford car it's back in the field in the back of you. Okay. Yeah, and, and, uh, yeah. Factory stuff. And hang right here. Right? So you get ready to raise the window. You know, you just pull up on the strap, raise it up, and then you, you mount oh, it. I, 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 just, I just want mine to slide. Oh, right. Yeah, I know I, what you're I, talking I, about. I don't need yeah. all that fancy back of this yeah. crap. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I, I know what my, you're my talking about. My glasses are raunchy. Them two glasses weigh. 40 pounds a piece. Yeah. I had the mechanism out. Man, right. you talk about That's heavy. That's Mr. Glenn did Got it ready to go? Yeah, I'm <laughs> You got some match races set up, don't you? Just, just with, just with uh, Jimmy been giving me some. Oh stuff. yeah, Jimmy. <laughs> because he, he, don't, he don't know what he's gonna do. <laughs> yeah. This car's faster than mine. There's no doubt. <laughs> yeah, if it's accurate. I gotta right. do everything right. I gotta do everything yeah. right. Yeah. Now, what year is Ronchi? 62. 62, okay. 62 Ranchero. Cool, man. Yeah, they, sh they sure make good looking gassers, that's yeah, for sure. Man, you got all kind of good stuff in here. Yeah, it looks like cars. That's a perfect bell out. Oh, wow. 
Really? Yeah. Perfect score. Wow. Perfect score. Golly. I found this locally uh, in a garage here. With yeah. One on. Really. Man, that is sharp. It's hard to beat one in black, man. It's yeah, it's hard to get them. Color, so. Yeah, it's hard to get them right, but yeah. that's well, why I, it was easy because it's all original metal. Right, right. So it yeah. was devil wrecked. Yeah, had a little bit of rust underneath that rocket panel on the fender, uh, but other than that, it was a really solid car. Yeah. Yeah, big block Camaro, yep. I assume. Four speed. looking car too hard to beat one though now this is my this is more my my forte here yeah. so i'm more of a I, I say i'm more of a ford guy i, I mean I, ford. yeah i'm not i'm not really prejudiced but yeah. I, I like them all but i, I do love them. I mean, i've got a 70 mach one yeah. so this is a hearse car okay so it's a real it's deal a real deal hearse real car. car wow it's it's got a, it's got yeah. a full valve cleveland 351 cleveland Behind the seat. You better get a good look at it when we open up the. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. It sits flat. Yeah. It's got a transaxial rear end. Just butt it right up to the transmission. That was short, stubby five speed. Yeah, okay. So 72 Pantera. One right That's there. Yeah. <laughs> Four speed car, nothing else. Yeah. You know, it does have radio on here, but I mean, it's just a... Uh, oh, man. Really wonderful for me. It looks like a shoehorn down in there, too. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a lot of motor yeah. for a little car. <laughs> made them fun, though. They made them fun. Cool, man. Well, that's a heck of a collection in here. Yeah. The Vell's wife's car, it's one of the few cars with automatics. And what year is this? It's a 70. 70. It's a 70. Okay. It's a special year for them. But it's an automatic. So I'm not quite as I'm not as sharp on the Chevy muscle cars like yeah. year wise. I mean I know it's a seventy well, and seven, up. But... Seventy was the last year well, it was the LS six, but this isn't L S six. L S six was a four fifty four yeah. model, which was uh, five hundred and fifty horsepower with it. Right. This one at four fifty, but they wasn't. Right, they right. It was a one right. engine. I got gotcha. you. Um, all all the other ones were three ninety horse and this is a three seventy five horse. Okay. This might be, um this is a three fifty horse. But we chromed it up for her. Oh, yeah. That's she wanted clean. a black in the front. We powder coated the A-frames. Yeah. And, uh, super clean yeah, under clean, there. Clean, clean, clean it up for her so, so she could show it when she goes out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. So, you know, aluminum radiator, air conditioning. You know, just all the modern stuff. Yeah. Hid, hid the hoses in the fender well. Right, right. Yeah, I noticed it was yeah, clean wasn't a whole lot bit. going on under yeah, there. Yeah, so. So, so you can uh, see the engine. Took everything off and didn't need. Right. That's nice, man. Yeah, so we'll be in Gulfport tomorrow yeah. filming, and Raunchy will be there. Mr. Yeah. Tony. How do you say your last name? In Cardona. In Cardona. Yeah. Okay. I'll try to, I'll probably mess it up again. It's in all the magazines. We, we, yeah. We, they've been putting this in the Gulf Coast magazine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, the Gaza magazine. Yeah. We've been getting quite a bit of write-ups. The car's pretty famous. Nobody knows who I am. <laughs> cool, man. Yeah, looking forward to it. It's going to be warm, but yeah, it's anyway. Be almost too hot to, to race. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow but... night for the... All right, guys. So uh, we got the front cap. We got a cool tour of Tony's shop and uh, all of the, all this awesome collection of cars. And... Uh, pretty excited about that front cap i'm gonna get home and maybe get it mocked up and get some pictures for you guys and uh pretty excited to see how it looks all together and everything and uh just coming out of this coming out of his driveway man what a beautiful place down here really nice stuff so but uh yeah just want to say give a shout out to johnny reb again and tony for helping me out with that whole deal and uh really helped because that saved me a good chunk of cash and that's how we're having to put this thing together with a budget and just uh scraping and scratching wherever we can so really appreciate that and uh, that's the cool thing about the whole gasser community everybody looking out for each other and um 
you know keeping an eye out for parts that we can use and everybody knows what everybody else is looking for and uh it's just a really cool community of guys and uh all with a common goal of just having fun and enjoying their cars Looks good from here. Don't look so big in the mortar. Yeah, not too bad. Pretty stoked about that. Fiberglass front cap. Heck yeah. Looks like it was made that way. That's it. That's it. Have some uh have a good bit of weight savings oh yeah yeah thank you guys for uh for supporting and everything pretty stoked about this thanks to johnny rib for hooking me up with this deal and uh it's gonna be, gonna be a really nice addition to the car so it's pretty nice uh pretty nice find saves a lot of cash and a lot of weight and uh yeah pretty stoked thanks for tuning in be sure to subscribe and uh like comment with any questions or anything like that and uh Stay tuned for the next one. Might be a little bit, but we're about to get some more work done on it. So be sure to stay tuned and keep a lookout. We'll have more videos coming every week anyway. Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Appreciate you guys' support. All right. Peace.